What's going on everybody? JCSB here and look what we have here guys. Minecraft Beta 1.8. Not the pre-release version. This is the legit update. Today is Wednesday. It has finally been released and guys, I am thrilled beyond belief. Uh, now I'd like to formally welcome you to Season 2 uh, of our Minecraft Let's Play. This is the Season 2 premiere. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, Season 1 consisted of 72 episodes and it ended uh, a week or two ago when 1.8 was supposed to come out. Anyway guys, so as you can see here, I have gotten rid of all of my worlds uh, in preparation for 1.8 uh, as well as the texture packs. So we're going to do this completely vanilla. Now uh, before we get things started, I just wanted to show you uh, my settings. Uh, I'm going to be playing on 35% sound. I might turn it up a bit. I just don't want the sound to overpower my voice. Uh, hard difficulty, that's going to remain that way. Now this is the only other setting. I might make the brightness a bit more than moody. Uh, because obviously it gets dark on YouTube. But uh, for now, we're going to leave it on moody. And then uh, nothing else here really matters. So guys, it's time. Let's create our Season 2 world. So, name. Let's Play World Season 2. With an exclamation point. Alright guys, so uh, that's the name. We're going to do Game Mode Survival. More world options. We want structures on, but no seed. Alright, so are you guys prepared? Are you ready? Three. Two, one, beta 1.8 season 2 is a go. Alright guys, so let's build the terrain here. Now my game should run a lot smoother seeing how I am using uh, the default texture pack. And it looks like we have spawned in an awesome place. It looks like an island here, uh, which is very, very nice. Now first thing I notice is, wow, vines? <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so... Uh, I'm sure you guys know how Minecraft is played by now, so let's punch a tree here. Now, uh, I want you guys to be aware, it will get, uh, my game will be a bit laggy here towards the beginning, but that is just because uh, the new world is rendering in, so uh, it's not going to run 100% smooth right off the bat here. So we're going to punch a tree. Let's grab this piece of wood. Uh, we're going to need a piece of dirt here because apparently now these trees are a bit uh, higher than I remembered. So it doesn't seem that I can reach the top. There we go. And make sure to grab this log. Okay, so now it seems that I've been placed on one large, uh, or an island surrounded by a huge ocean here. Uh, and you know what? I am 100% okay with that because, uh, you know... It should provide, uh, man, we are on an island, you guys. But you know what? That's fine. It's going to make it a bit more challenging, but uh, that always calls for more excitement because uh, it's not fun when it's too easy. So uh, now, a lot of you, if you guys remember, I did wait for the real 1.8 update to come out. I didn't do the pre-release. My brother uh, downloaded the pre-release, but... Uh, I just played on it for a second, so uh, I really don't know what to expect about this. This is all new to me. I have watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, uh, but nothing crazy. Now, I know mobs run away now, so it's like impossible to kill these guys. As you can see, the sheep's spazzing out, so there we go. How many critical hits does it take when you're using your, uh, your hand? There we go. Uh, where'd the wool go, though? Here it is. Alright, I'm sure that got dark for you guys for a sec. Alright, so uh, you guys can expect for this episode to be a long one, obviously because it's the Season 1 premiere, or the Season 2 premiere, rather. No, don't run from me. I will kill you. And I'll pick up a whole bunch of seeds along the way. Come here, man. There we go. Alright, so we need one more piece of wool. I just want to get this done with, uh, get it out of the way right at the beginning here, which is why I'm going after the sheeps. Bro, chill out. Just, just accept death. It's upon you, bro. Nothing you can do about it. Wow, we got experience, uh, 
little bubble orbs whatever you want to call them so yeah like i said uh i'm not 100 percent familiar with everything that is in the new update and the reason for that is because i wanted it to be kind of a surprise uh, i want to figure stuff out as i go that way uh, i'm not 100 percent comfortable so uh i guess now we can start setting up shop here so Oh, nice. That feature's back. Uh, if you hold shift right click, it breaks the entire stack for you. So really glad to see that that feature is back. Oh, that makes stuff so much quicker. All right, so we're going to make a single wooden pickaxe here. Let's grab that. Oh, I really like that the achievements were reset too. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if it's because I just... Uh, re-downloaded minecraft just to make sure i was good oh hi creeper are you excited for 1.8 i know i am <laughs> oh man creepers are the best uh minecraft will officially be over uh once creepers are able to fly i'm definitely not looking forward to that Alright, so real quick here, uh, this probably isn't going to be the most exciting thing in the world. I do need to collect a bit of cobblestone here, and it looks like I found, yeah, just a little area here. So, let's collect some cobblestone. I want to get about 30 or so pieces, that way I have plenty of cobble to make tools and everything like that. Uh, it's always good to have a lot of cobble on the, uh, the first night, because without it, survival's pretty tough. So, let's see. We're going to grab a bit more here. i uh, just take it from here, I guess. Now, like I said, I have been watching a lot of pre-release videos, uh, especially from the Machinima crew. They were uh, definitely on top of things, as they always are. They got a lot of videos out. Uh, you know, Lucklin and Chimney Swift and all them. So, I have been watching a lot, and I do know most of the things, but... Uh, I'm still completely thrilled for this uh, Season 2, guys. Uh, season 1 was a pretty big success, so it's really, really cool to be starting over again. So, uh, let's get us our, uh, let's get a full supply of cobblestone here, or uh, rather cobblestone tools, because we're definitely going to need them. Uh, we might not right away here, but in the future, the very near future, we are going to need tons of tools, so... We're gonna grab a whole bunch here. This is where I'll get. Uh, whoa! <laughs> this is where grabbing all that cobblestone comes in handy. So lastly, we're gonna make a single sword. We had just enough cobblestone. And uh, while I have the materials, I am going to make a bed, but I'm gonna try not to use it for the first night. I want to try out the new brightness feature setting thing, whatever you want to call it. Whoa! What is that? It looks like. There's a like a gap in the ocean floor there. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or whatnot, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Whoa, I keep sprinting when I don't want to. <laughs> All right, so next thing we're going to do here is grab up a whole bunch of mushrooms because I see them. Uh, it seems now that in, I guess this would be a swamp biome, it seems that they're all over the place. So uh, I wish I would be seeing a couple of red mushrooms, though. Because, you know, brown mushrooms are worthless unless you have red mushrooms to go along with them. So, are there any red mushrooms over here? I see saplings. Let's sprint. Da -na 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 -na. I feel like such a cool person when I'm sprinting. It's crazy. Alright, so we're going to explore, explore around a bit. I'm going to probably make my first little base over here on this island. But uh, as you can see, there, there is a lot of land this way. There's room for exploring. Uh, we're going to go collect some wood, actually. Now, I think the most important thing to get started off with in a new world, at least uh, this is what I found from my past experiences, is a tree farm. I find that that uh, a you know very good supply of logs is important right from the beginning. That's probably the best way to get going. So, uh, it seems we already have 25 saplings, which should get us going, uh, pretty nicely here. Now, can I make this jump? Ah, there we go, nice. Now, I should be able to reach the top from here. Perfect. So, uh, I definitely want to hear your guys' opinions about, uh, 1.8. I'm sure 
by the time this is uploaded, uh, late Wednesday afternoon, you guys will have already played the heck out of this uh, new update. So I am very, very curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Uh, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have actually played the pre-release version. So uh, you probably know everything there is to know about it. What do you guys think? Uh, I've just been so thrilled today at school because I had a feeling, I don't know why, but for some reason I had a feeling that it was going to be uh, put up today, uh, it was going to be released, so I was very, very thrilled when I got home and I had a whole bunch of YouTube messages that said, hey, 1.8's been released, go check it out, and I was like, perfect, Wednesday's an uploading day, let's get season 2 going. So uh, literally, I just got home like... 10 minutes ago and here we are already recording so now guys i am very happy with where we started off here this is like a chain of islands that uh are all surrounded by water and what that means is as long as mob grinders aren't broken we're gonna have a very efficient one having it be uh, uh surrounded by so much water it should be very very efficient Okay, so next thing we need to do as night falls is we got to run back to where we were setting up shop. I'm going to grab some more sugar cane. Now, I'll grab the rest of these mushrooms later. Uh-oh. Uh, there's obviously tons of them around, so I don't think we'll have any shortage. Anyways, uh, we need to get some charcoal being cooked up because I haven't found any coal and nighttime is approaching. So uh, let's head on back now. Let's see, grab all the saplings. We're going to sprint. All right, last bit of saplings to grab. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of saplings for a tree farm, that's for sure. And let's sprint. Nice. Yeah, I, I definitely think sprinting is a cool feature, though it does really wear down on your uh, your food bar there. Okay, so it's getting dark. This is a good opportunity to try the new brightness setting. Now, guys, be 100% honest and tell me if this is bright enough on YouTube because I'm hoping that it will be. Whoa, I see two eggs already. <laughs> we're going to have cakes galore. All right, so real quick here, we're going to jump down here into our little cobblestone, uh, the place where we mined our cobblestone, and we need to get enough pieces to make a furnace. That way we can uh, get some cobblestone or get a furnace going and then you know, cook up some logs for charcoal. Because right now we've got no torches. Alright, so make a furnace. Hot topic. Achievement get. Okay, so we're going to put some of these uh, planks in there. And we're going to cook up some logs. Now I only want to cook up 16. That way I can get a full stack of, uh, of torches. And we're going to make some more sticks. There we go. All right, now guys, uh, personally, it's really bright on my screen. I can see with this new brightness setting, so I'm really hoping that uh, for you guys, it's as bright as it is for me. Whoa, chicken meat. Raw chicken. All right, so let's give this new eating animation a try. Ready? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why did my uh, my chicken hearts up above where my food goes... It looks like they turned green when I ate that chicken. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. I'm hoping it is. All right, so we've got five pieces of charcoal smelted here. Now, uh, I promised myself that when I started Season 2, I would not sleep in a bed on the first night. So we are going to go uh, Iron Man mode here and get this done. But I do think we should go and light up a bit of the island. That way we can prevent as much spawning as possible. Because I'm not sure uh, how you guys like to play Minecraft, but I don't enjoy getting exploded by creepers, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't either. So uh, if we can prevent spawns as much as possible, uh, that's I think it'll be pretty much the main goal. <laughs> All right, so this place is very, very bright for me, especially with the brightness setting up. So, all right. Let's see, the moon's just now rising. I kind of want to go see if we can find some more uh, new mobs. I know the Endermen are out, but I'm pretty sure that those are rare. So uh, I don't know if we'll be able to find any of those. But we need to kill this chicken here. Spy chicken. Alright, let's eat some more eggs. Or, 
<laughs> At least I have the right idea. It still comes from a chicken, but let's eat some chicken meat. There we go. All right. Now we're going to make a chest, you guys. Uh, just to store some of our stuff for the first couple of nights. Because I don't know if I'm going to have a permanent base ready right in the beginning. So we're just going to have a little shop set up here. Now, I can see right away the chests are smaller than they used to be. Uh, it looks like they come in from the side of the block here a bit. I'm not sure if you can see that. And they have an opening animation, which is just awesome. I think that's really, 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 really cool. Uh, I think it really improves the game having an animation like that. So, you know, I'm thinking Minecraft is taking a turn for the better. Gotta be honest with you, towards uh, the beginning of when I first saw how 1.8 was going to be played out, I wasn't sure if I uh, was liking the direction Minecraft was going in. But now that I'm actually playing it, uh, I do think it's, it, it's pretty nice, to be honest. So, now we have got some more coal or more charcoal. I'm going to leave one piece for smelting in case I need to. Let's see, uh, what could I smelt up? I don't have any meat to cook. That's kind of unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to put our feathers and our eggs away. Our wool. Uh, we'll put the bed down. We're not going to use it just yet, but we might as well have it out. And let's see, black wool we don't need. We're going to keep wooden planks. We're going to keep dirt on us. Uh, mushrooms. We can put mushrooms away. And seeds. So uh, let's place some sugar cane here. That way we can get some more of it growing around our base here. Alright, that should be good. Okay, so I guess while it's dark out and while I have the brightness setting and a whole bunch of torches, let's explore this cave here. See what uh, it has to offer. Ooh, I can see the torches now emit a yellow glow it seems that's pretty cool i guess that's a bit more realistic seeing how the top of the torch is yellow wow it looks like this cave goes down to bedrock this is insane all right so we're just gonna i guess dig a staircase down here like this place a torch there how are we getting down all right uh, hopefully this is bright enough for you guys. Uh, uh, like I said, it's extremely bright for me. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> like, it's a lot brighter than it was without the brightness setting. So I'm hoping uh, the same goes for you guys as you're watching it. Alright, so we've come to the bottom of this extremely far drop. And it appears that nothing is down here except for a couple of pieces of iron. And now you know what guys, I'm not complaining about only finding iron. Because uh, that will definitely help us get going. Wow, there's a pretty good amount of it too. So, uh, Now I am not 100% certain. But I can almost guarantee it after this that either I found two veins of iron. Or uh, the the size of the veins has definitely increased. Because I remember you used to only be able to get 8 pieces at most. And that was 14. So now it's time to head up and see what kind of trouble we're going to get into. I'm sure at least a couple of mobs have spawned. So uh, let's see if our torch layout worked. Oh nice. I don't see any mobs. Cool. Okay, so we got that exploring taken care of. I guess we should cook up some of this iron here. We're only going to be able to get eight pieces out of this one piece of charcoal here. So it's a good start, though. All right, next thing we need to do is... Ooh, I see skeletons. I guess we ought to go fight them. Come here, skeleton. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. You got served, brother. <laughs> Come here, Skelly. Don't be a baby. Yeah, that's right. Come fight me. I'm ready for you. I see a lot of mobs over there. Come on, skeleton. F Whoa, their, their arrows go a lot faster now, it looks like. Ah, but not fast enough to kill me. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so another thing, I hope you enjoyed the new intro. Uh, it didn't take me very long to make, unfortunately. Uh, my only editing software is iMovie. It's the software that comes free. It came installed on my computer. Uh, and I'm pretty limited in iMovie, or at least for what I know how to do. So, uh, it's obviously not professional. I hope none of you are expecting it to be professional. But uh, I think it, get, it gets the job done, you know. Alright, so our iron's done cooking. Let's cook up this piece of raw chicken meat, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, raw chicken. Alright, so uh, I'm very excited about this new world. I think we got a really decent map. It looks like an area where maybe wolves will spawn. I don't know. It's a swamp biome, so who knows. Alright, nom 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 nom. There we go. So now what we're going to do is cook up the rest of this iron. We're going to need 12 sticks for that. Or actually just four pieces of wood, I think. All right, we got another egg. We are up to three. We got some iron. Okay, so the sun is rising, and let's head out and explore. This is the adventure update, so let's go adventuring. See if we can find any endermen. That would be really cool. All right, so... Now that the sun's coming up, I'm going to turn my brightness down a bit. We'll turn it to like 30%. I guess that'll be good during the day, at least. Alright. Ooh, what is that? Oh, here's another zombie. Man, critical hits really do help out you guys, uh... I mean, I'm killing these zombies in two hits with a stone sword, and that usually, you know, was impossible. But I see a creeper. Creeper's gonna die. Some more wool. Oh, boy. Ah, we killed him. Yeah, win. <laughs> Got gunpowder, so they still dropped the same thing. I figured they would. Alright, so let's sprint it on over here. Uh, we need to find some more animals because uh, I'm running low on food and I don't have uh, any raw pork chops or anything of that nature. Hmm, what are we going to do about that? Uh oh. Did the spider drop anything? No! Alright, that's a bummer. Here's some skeleton items. Alright, guys, well, uh, I think I'm going to. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it here. Uh, we successfully survived the first night, which is the main goal of the first episode. Uh, I'm really thrilled that Season 2 is finally here. 1.8 is out. Uh, next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, starting a tree farm. I think on this island across the way here, it looks very, very flat. So I think uh, what we're going to do over there is start a massively scaled tree farm with all the saplings that we grabbed. I hope you've enjoyed the Season 2. Uh, to premiere you guys if you have be sure to hit the thumbs up button show your support for season two uh, and if you are new to my channel and you haven't already please subscribe because uh, I love having you guys follow me and I hope to provide you guys with the best content in the future all right guys so episode two will be on Friday once again I'm thrilled I hope you guys are thrilled I hope you've enjoyed this video other than that guys have an awesome day and I'll see you on Friday bye bye